In folds of midnight water side by side we sons and daughters. My name's Robin Beeland and I'm the music director for Rare and I've been at Rare for 29 years. It's absolutely mind-blowing to me that we shall sell has had 10 million plays. When you're making stuff and you're making it for a trailer, you're just getting the music done and getting the trailer done. But to sort of see this this song almost become an anthem and be so wholeheartedly embraced by the community, it's just incredible. How We Shall Sell came about was we were trying to secure a licensed piece of music and we were sort of running into problems trying to get hold of that. So we decided that we'd try to go for something that was a shanty, because Sea of Thieves is all about shanties. Um, what's the sort of the most well-known shanty? Well, it's probably Drunken Sailor. So we thought, well, what if we take the melody of that, put it in 3-4, because traditionally Drunken Sailor's like a what should we do with a drunken sailor? Well, you know, so it's like put it in three, four, try and make it a little bit sort of moodier and put our own lyrics to it. I actually really like the vocal because we initially sort of recorded Anna with the intention of we would, it was just a sort of a guide vocal so we could sit it within the trailer and see how it felt. Over time, as we played over the sort of built the track up, put other vocals on and things like that, I just really wanted to keep her vocal in there because it, it, it just, it had this really sort of, um, sort of vulnerable quality to it that I really liked. And we even re-recorded Anna because that was just kind of a, a quick sort of laying down of a vocal. But we stuck with the original vocal because there's just something about it that I really, really liked. All the voices that you hear on We Shall Tell are rare staff. So it's the audio department, the Johns from the video department, um, and Anna, obviously. Um, but I can show you some takes of the uh, different sort of treatments we did on the vocals. So we start over here with a, a smallish crowd and then we just this sort of the second part of the song we wanted to really really build it and add more and more vocals and layer them up so we got a really sort of epic finish to the track Words of warning have been spoken ancient creatures have awoken still until our bond is broken we shall say Interestingly, we had the idea to do a counterpart melody, which is... Oh, fast tides are turning And the fire's burning Who shall not be returning We shall sail together when it came to sort of like mixing the entire track together, it was just getting too confusing trying to hear those lyrics against the other lyric. You just couldn't make out those lyrics, so we, we but we like the melody. So instead, I think it was me and the Johns just owed it. I think. So the end result is with everybody in. Words of warning have been spoken. Ancient creatures have awoken still. Until our bond is broken, we shall sail together. So you might recognise that as who shall not be returning. Actually, at that point in the video, you'll notice Flameheart at that moment where that melody comes in, that's our counterpoint melody. You know, completely planned from the start. Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> so yeah, th th those lyrics didn't go in, but they, they've made it into the game at a later stage. The sort of pillars for Sea of Thieves is kind of having instruments that are a little bit beaten up and they, they sound piratey, I suppose. That was the only kind of thing we were thinking. It doesn't have to be historically accurate or anything like that. So the hurdy-gurdy is a good example. You wouldn't be able to play chords on the hurdy-gurdy, but we sort of play the lines separately so that we can create chordal parts. So, but it still sounds believable. The concertina is a, the most beaten up concertina that we could find. It wheezes and clicks and it's the, the reeds are a bit sort of dull, but it, it, it had a, 
a, a, a sound that we immediately latched onto when we tried it. Something that's maybe maybe lived a life on a ship and has been sort of thrown around a bit and, you know, hasn't been looked after, but it can, you can get a tune out of it. And that's the sort of thing of sounding like pirates of making the music and not accomplished musicians. And then we add the sort of nicer polish with some of the orchestral stuff. In isolation, just a little concertina there. And it's just on that intro part. And then coming up here is the harmonium, which is kind of like a, it's like a big, it's a reeded instrument, reeded, reeded organ, but it's a, a big sort of squeeze box on it, so it's a bigger sound. So, I think I did a hurdy that was kind of playing fairly detached notes like that, and then I uh, played one on that side with detached, and then this one's kind of more sus sort of sustained notes. But I really like the effect of those two together. This whole sort of thing of it being pirating, things aren't too perfect, um, which is really handy because my bass playing is particularly bad on this here, especially on this part. But it has that kind of rough around the edges kind of vibe to it, which I kind of like. And all that sort of noise and finger clacks and things like that. There's a track here called Richard, which is a Hammond organ. Which I'd completely forgotten about that. I just, um, I, I don't know, obviously felt in the mood for it at the time. Probably doesn't sound that piratey, but I think in the sort of context of the rest of the track, it has a, it sort of gives it a really nice lift into that next section. Um. I thought it'd be, we'd just do it, use it for the trailer and that'd be it. People started to really sort of connect with it and then we, we decided to use it for the pirate hideout. So you, the secret shanty, there was a, there was a post-it note on the, the board outside for quite a while saying we need a, a secret shanty and that was the shanty that you would get awarded when you became pirate legend and you, you can crank or squeeze your way into the, uh, the pirate hideout. So that seemed like the perfect choice at that point. The most heartwarming for me was somebody on uh, the Sea Thieves forum said they were a new dad uh, and they couldn't get their baby off to sleep. And they said they'd play and we shall sail. And he said that just immediately did seem to do the trick. I mean, in fact, I, I then recorded like a, a celeste sort of version of it and said, oh, maybe this might be a bit, bit more sort of peaceful and help a bit better, so. 10 million plays, I've just, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, just kind of, can't have imagined it, that it would ever sort of have that sort of reach. Just incredible.